Hey there, this is Pete Erickson. Welcome back to Voice Global. Hope you're all doing great out there. My next fireside chat, very excited about. It's Mark Mesrich. Mark is the Vice President of Voice Assistant Products at Viacom. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? You know, uh, we're hanging in there. 24-hour uh, conference. I'm not going to get much sleep, but uh, I'm going to make it happen. So um, first off, uh, Vice President for Voice Assistant Products at Viacom. I think the first thing we got to do is uh, tell the audience a little bit about Viacom because we have got people tuning in from well over 100 countries. And uh, I take it, we take it for granted most people know Viacom, but many people may not. So tell us a little bit about Viacom and then we'll get into what you're doing there. Sure. So Viacom is part of uh, Viacom CBS. We are a, a media and entertainment um, company, a suite of brands, global suite of brands uh, that includes MTV, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, uh, Paramount Studios, CBS, and a whole uh, host of other brands that we're uh, all creating really exciting content right now. Wow. Yeah, that's a little bit of reach. Um, and uh, so voice assistant products within Viacom. Tell us what that means, just in terms of like a product family. Sure, you know we're we're really fortunate. We're really invested in this space. Uh, that's why we're here here talking about it. Um, and there's a lot that we've done, and a lot we're doing, and a lot we're we're going to keep doing. So uh, I I'm here representing a team. Uh, we have other product managers, product uh, designers, uh, project managers, and a team of engineers all in house uh, building voice assistant products for um, for Alexa, for Google Assistant, for Siri. So we're really, uh, you know, thinking about this space as a media and entertainment company. You know, this is a really important media and entertainment platform, and we know that we know it's only growing and going to continue to grow in the coming years. So we just want to make sure it's a space we understand. It's a space we're experimenting in, and uh, we can do things that are, you know, appeal to our fans right now and are going to put us in a good position for the future. In terms of a suite of products, there's a lot that we're doing across uh, a number of our brands. Nickelodeon for kids and family. Um, there's a lot there. We have four different uh, Alexa games. That includes things like the SpongeBob Challenge. So it's a great memory game for fans of SpongeBob, or even if you don't know SpongeBob, it's just a fun way to spend time sort of with your family or by yourself playing with playing with Alexa. We have another Nickelodeon game called uh, Watch Your Words, which is a sort of uh, a, another fun game that also again works for the whole family or for individuals who might be younger or older. Uh, on the Comedy Central side. Stand-up's obviously really important to the DNA of Comedy Central. So we have a skill called Comedy Central Stand-Up. Just say, Alexa, mm. give me stand-up. And, uh, and there's something really exciting there. There's hours and hours of content. Um, we see people really just using that uh, and really engaging with that and getting to know the Comedy Central Stand-Up library. Now, on the MTV side, we have a bunch of different activations, um, including something we've done recently for the MTV show Wild and Out that we're really excited about. I have to tell you, there's a lot there. And already yes. I know I'm going to have to check now. You know, it's funny. Uh, this is my own discovery here in this interview. So I've got things to go check out with the kids uh, with Alexa. So thank you so much for that. Um, so let's talk about the, uh, I guess, the elephant in all of our rooms right now. And that is that, you know, clearly we've been at home uh, uh, on quarantine for quite some time now. Um, how, how have you seen this impact, you know, your products and usage uh, out there? Yeah, listen, obviously it's affecting all our lives in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, one that we just think about from an entertainment perspective is people are at home, right? And that's going to shift the way that they're interacting uh, with their devices and shift the way that they're interacting with media. So we have seen increased usage uh, across our suite of voice assistant products. And we assume to some extent that's because people are at home. Uh, we mentioned those Nickelodeon skills. We think that's really important for people, you know, with kids at home, just like I have. To give them opportunities that maybe are away from screens or you know can be somewhat fun can be somewhat educational and uh you know give them ways to interact and just have fun and that could work as an individual just you know telling your kid to go play you know play with alexa for a little bit and we think that's an, a good healthy experience or um ju just uh, with your family as well you know we right. think we see a lot of multiplayer um and some of that is definitely family some of that is siblings um, so it, yep. it's it's important right now to have those sort of outlets. Um, we're happy to be able to provide those. So, Mark, tell me, how does Viacom CBS approach voice? Well, we're really invested in it. Obviously, um, you know, as I mentioned, the, the team that we have uh, and you know, the, the fact that we're willing to experiment in so many different ways. And we're approaching voice uh, from a few different phases. We're looking at where it is right now. 
right? The penetration of Alexa devices, penetration of Google Assistant devices, how it exists in your phone. And we're looking at where it's gonna be in five years. And that's why, part of why we're really invested in it. We think it's a pretty serious platform right now. And we think it's even gonna be more serious you know, as we go. And some of that is the penetration of voice assistant devices. We're continuing, continuing to see that go up. Uh, so you know, people will be using more and more of our sort of branded skills and experiences. Some of that is also just voice as a control, right? So we're getting a lot of learnings right now from voice assistant devices. And we think we can apply those to voice as a remote for controlling your TV, which is gonna be bigger right. and bigger, or voice as a remote right. for controlling your lights and other entertainment experiences. And where does Viacom CBS fit into all of that? And that's part of what we're experimenting with and trying to figure out as we go. You know, what's interesting. My kids are eight and nine, right? So they're sort of a grown up in the smartphone era. So when they were little, they expected every screen to be tap, swipe and pinch. And now their expectation is that a device is gonna have some kind of voice interactivity with it. Uh, and my, they use their voice, yeah. My three and a half year old daughter, I was trying to get a, uh, a, a school library or something up on our, on our computer and she just uh, she just started talking to it and you know trying to to get it to work. Right. And while there might be some Siri integration, she she absolutely approaches everything as uh, as voice first. So yeah, there's a, yeah. there's a lot of that. In the same way that we we talked you know just a few years ago about building mobile first, voice first development is going to be really important because it's, you're going to have to think about it in the DNA of everything that you're doing, right? So it's not just right, right now we have the it's almost a, a blessing, right, that we have these separate voice assistant devices where we can experiment because it's, yeah. you know, voice is your input, voice is your output, we can get a lot of learnings. But our, our feeling is we're gonna have to take those learnings and push them into the DNA of everything else Viacom CBS does as an organization because voice is going to be built into all of those, both as an input and as an output. So, um, you know, this, this current, uh, pandemic uh, that we're all impacted. It's 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 had a major impact on all of our lives, and how has it impacted you know, Viacom CBS and and kind of how you're thinking about the market? Has it has it changed your priorities for anything that uh, that you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. It's impacted a lot. Um, impacted the way we work. Impacted the way uh, you know people are living. The way people are entertained. Certainly. So you know, in my world with within voice. Uh, you know, we're certainly looking at people spending more time at home, and these are devices that primarily live at home. So that certainly meant that, you know, we've had increased usage, and we're trying to look for ways to give people more in these moments. So again, I know as a parent, if there's more ways that I can help entertain my kids or even bond with my kids through these devices, um, that's that's something that we can that we can do uh, for our audiences. And so we're, you know, we're looking at that. So for our Nickelodeon skills, uh, for example, SpongeBob Challenge, we actually just added about 50% more content. And it was important to us oh, to wow. do it right now while people are at home with their kids, um, either right. playing along with their kids or have an opportunity to uh, to let their kids you know, have some time to play, maybe maybe with a screen for multimodal, maybe without, um, but definitely something that, that entertains them in a way that we think is, is a nice sort of pure form of entertainment. Yeah, it's just been a really interesting, um, yeah, wave of, almost like new entertainment. Uh, and you've just seen the explosion of certain platforms. Uh, TikTok certainly has has enjoyed a nice ride here during the during the pandemic. So Mark, what what have been has there been any like major surprise for you in the last three months um, that stuck out, you know, either professionally or personally in 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 uh, regards to the voice space? Yeah, I think certainly in regards to the voice space, um, you know, professionally and personally, I'm I'm seeing some things converge. Certainly, right? That uh, voice is certainly you know really important. You know, having a kid in one hand and being able to speak, you know, the commands and uh, being able to you know control our devices in a certain way is is as useful as it's ever been, and the use cases keep increasing. So, really, you know, thankful for that. Um, and, and again, you know, we've seen our our usage increase in voice devices, and I think that's you know part of the role that we can play. Right. Um, in terms of you know providing those uh, diversions and providing that entertainment in a time when when people need that and people are at home and and want to be entertained. So you know when we think about voice at Viacom CBS, we are thinking about you know the same way we think about other other platforms. How can we entertain people? Um, and so even if we're providing a media activity or a media activation or a game, it's entertainment, right? Um, and, yeah. and so people need that at home entertainment right now. Um, and, and so I, I think it's more important than ever. And I yeah. think that's only that's only going to increase. You know, people are getting to to know these these devices. I haven't seen any uh, numbers on you know shipments of these devices, but I know uh, 
you know, we're, we're seeing certainly yeah. increased usage. Yeah, we definitely, um, yeah, the numbers are impressive. I don't have the exact figures on my uh, top of my head right now, but um, this market's still growing very quickly. Um, people are buying smart devices for their homes. And I think that, you know, you brought up a great point. I think as a parent, having an extra set of hands or an extra hand um, yep. is huge. Uh, so if we can just ask our assistant something um, and get the answer, that's great. And also provide a, a source of entertainment, education, um, engagement for our children is, you know, all the better. Yeah. Um, and I think it's true. I think it's true of grownups too, right? You know, the, the right. fact that, you know, I can play the, uh, you know, like I said, MTV's got this new wild and out skill, right? So it's sort of like a um, hip hop diss track Mad Libs sort of sort of game. And it's just fun, right? And so yeah. really we just came out with it back in, back in February. It's just a moment to just be distracted, have fun. And we're really proud of that, that kind of activation as well. I know that's something that when the kids are asleep, I can play or, you know, anyone, right. you know, any grown up of any age can, can play and um, be distracted by for a little bit. So we're happy to provide those sort of moments as well. Well, I certainly could use the distractions from time to time. Uh, I've been home for a hundred days, so it's welcome. I'm definitely going to check out some of these skills that you brought up today. And uh, Mark, we really appreciate you taking some time and chatting with us here at Voice Global and uh, appreciate the work that you're doing for the voice industry and and the voice you're doing at Vi work you're doing at Viacom CBS. Any final thoughts uh, for folks that are watching that are new to this industry that you know are just coming into voice? Is there any advice that you might give them? Yeah, you know, it depends on where they're coming from. Certainly, if they're coming from you know more sort of traditional web background, <clears throat> don't be daunted by it. You know, at the end of the day, most of what we're building are sort of gussied up web services, you know, from a sort of technical point of view. So I see a lot of people thinking that, you know, as an engineer, for example, they can't get a job in voice development. Um, there's a, actually a lot of different ways to build these sort of services that power Alexa skills and uh, Google Assistant Actions um, and other platforms. So you never know. So if you see a job posting somewhere for, you know, someone looking for a, a voice engineer, go for it, you know, if you have the skills. And I think the same is true for product and design and everything else. It's it's fun to wrap your head around a different set of challenges and it is absolutely unique. You can't just slap the same learnings and thoughts you had from building a mobile app onto this. But if you're someone with an open mind uh, for thinking about new ways that people use devices and people use apps, you absolutely can, can make an impact in this industry. Couldn't have said it better myself, Mark. Thank you so much. Uh, my guest for this fireside has been Mark Mesrich. He's the vice president of voice AI, voice assistance at uh, Viacom CBS. Mark, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you online. Thanks so much, Pete.